Give me your heart, give me your song, sing it with all your might. Come to the fountain and you can be satisfied. There is a peace, there is a love, you can get lost inside. Come to the fountain and let me hear you testify. All I remember was the anger, the hospital beds, the needles, the, you know, the worst of the worst. So who's to blame? Who's the only person that logically that I can blame? And that was God. My senior year, I came on a visit here in the fall and I went on many, talked to many coaches, talked to different things and I came here and I knew. It was literally like, where do I sign the papers? Most people who go on visits, you're like, okay, this is where I'm at, this is where I need to be. Like you just feel at home when you're here. That Christmas, I went home and I was like, I really want to go on a mission trip. I really want to, you know, see something more, see a joy because all I've seen is hurt. And if it wasn't that night that I got a text from Brianna Scott that said, would you like to go on a mission trip with me with the school? I mean, there was no other way I could say no. Sometimes it's a God thing and I really do believe that was it. Coach Perry actually, um, was speaking to us and he said, there's no time to wait. There's no time for you to wait because God wants you right now. Discussing you know, what has happened throughout the week and just the goodness of different things. And um, I said something kind of unusual and they like made me say it again. And I said, I can't get my life to Christ, I'm not ready. I said, I don't even sing that loud in church. I honestly thought that I couldn't get my life to Christ because I wasn't ready because I didn't sing that loud in church and it was something that like clicked that you're just like, oh gosh, like we went downstairs and there was all kinds of people there that were on the mission trip and uh, I literally spoke in front of every them, all of them like I am to you and said, I just gave my life to Christ. And within five minutes I was baptized and it was the biggest change of my life. So Morgan, you believe that you invited Jesus Christ into your heart tonight and believe with all your heart, mind, and soul. I do with everything. <laughs> he will change you forever begin tonight. Yes. You believe he died for you? Of course I do. After three days he rose from the grave. Yes. And because of what you've done tonight, you believe you'll live with him forever. Yes. Amen. 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 Because of that, Morgan Gaylor, <laughs> my new sister in Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Woo! Woo!